Hey guys, what's going on? We're home from the expo, so we are back. Had a great time at the expo, got there on Thursday and flew out early on Sunday. My flight originally was supposed to leave later on Sunday, so I could have gotten the day there. I really wish I could have. You know, that's the way that it goes. So we got there Thursday, roomed up with my buddy from Dallas, Gabe, shout out to Gabe. Great guy, flew all the way up here for hockey, you know, in, in Dallas, that area. Obviously they don't have a heck of a lot going on for for just the hockey card market in general. You get all the other sports there. But we got in on Thursday and got straight to work. On Thursday, I would say was probably my favorite day. It was super quiet there, it was a VIP night, but I believe you could buy tickets to get in there. Anyways, Thursday was a great night. So we got off to a flying start. First card that I bought there was this one. I bought this for my son. This is a Kale Makar uh, in motion from the Tim's packs and we've opened a lot of packs and haven't got this. We do set collect together the Tim's packs, really fun. I think the cards are pretty nice and this is one of my favorite cards from the series. So grab that for my son for $5. Didn't negotiate it down, shame on me, but five bucks for that. And then we got off to a flying start from there. So I ran into these guys, both of which I obviously ended up taking home. So we got the Mario Golden Touch and we got a Mario Hot Shots. Great cards, the Golden Touch in a nine and the Hot Shots in a 9.5. Obviously a uh, pretty tough grade being the die cut with all the corners. We picked that up for these, both of these, we got for $725, I thought was a pretty good price. So pretty happy to add those to the, the PC. The next cards we came across were from a, a big e-packer. His name is Bart. Now, if you're into e-pack, you, you likely know him, but he had a lot of e-pack stuff. So I got a few cards off of him, some of which were great deals, some which weren't. I got a rainbow color wheel, Connor McDavid, I got a second Connor McDavid, and this one also is, I believe, a second year. Yeah, there's a 16, 17 color wheel. I slightly overpaid on these two Connors. I went and looked on ComC after, and it's all right. These are gonna go to, to PSA, and we'll see. We'll likely grade them and move off of them, but really nice cards. I already have this card in a PSA 10. This is a Platinum Records Gretzky uh, Pulsar. Not an easy card to find, but again, Bart being the e-packer had lots of good stuff. Next card we got was an Austin Matthews, Future is now Mosaic. So another card that if you know, there's not a heck of a lot of them out there. And then we got a Austin Matthews Net Magnets. And so for these guys, I paid $40 each. He was asking 50, we did 80 bucks for the both of them. And uh, these will go to PSA as well. And yeah, just great cards, really rare. So some Matthews there. Last deal of the day on Thursday, we got these Matisse Macellis, Macellis, however you want to say his name. Um, leading the rookie race, he has 10 points and he's ahead of Pinto and Matty Beniers right now. So I got two of these for $4 from um well from a dealer and then i got the last one i paid ten dollars on that one apparently from what i'd heard later in the show these had gone up already at the show from to around 20 to 30 dollars a card they have gone up a little bit on ebay as well around 14 dollars or so but got a really good price on these you know guys had to like dig into their piles to find them there were guys there who were just ripping boxes of this so i was asking for the card and not too many people actually had him so i grabbed what i could but grabbed a few of those thursday night then headed over to jack astor's for jeremy lee's get together i don't have any pictures from that but thanks to jeremy it was a great time good food uh good people over there so got to chat chatted up with a lot of people um, and we move on to Friday so Friday the first deal that I got is I grabbed these guys I grabbed a couple of the Ovechkin what are these these are the orange rainbows so these are numbered out of 49 um, again just PSA cards so number 40 and number 45 out of 49 platinum just grades really well at PSA so Picked these up for $135 for the both of them. So I think a pretty good price. A couple more low dollar cards that I grabbed, just a Sid and a McDavid goalie nightmares. These are both gradable, so we'll be going to PSA. 
The next deal I did, I ended up making a trade for a Duncan Keith Future Watch Auto, a Timothy Stutzla PSA 10 Young Guns Tribute, along with $250. And I did get these cards. So I got this Gretzky Victory, cool looking card. Won't lie, don't know a heck of a lot about it, but we got that one. Then we got this Gretzky Epics. Apparently these Epics have some provenance. Uh, Sean was telling me about it a little bit. I, I won't get into that, but I, I definitely have some learning to do about what's going on with these Epics, but I just thought they were great cards. So we worked that into the deal. Got this Gretzky Epics, which is the game version. This one you'll notice is a season version, which apparently is a harder hit than the game. Gretzky, you can't go wrong with Gretzky, right? Got this nice looking, got this nice looking Iserman card, and then a uh, holographics Yarmer Jager. Um, this is the AU Awesome, however, however you say this thing. A more rare card I know for the holographics. In that deal, I also got a Steven Stamkos electrifying along with a Yarmer Jaeger electrifying. And on top of that, a Miko Ratnin rookie PMG blue that was in really good shape. I did send all three of those off to tag, so I did do a tag submission while I was there. So I hope to get them looking like these electrifying here. And I think the electrifying is just really popping that slab. So I'm gonna get those slabbed up by them and add them to the PC, put them on the shelf. Next card we got was a Sydney Crosby Flare Showcase Hot Shots. So I ended up getting this card for $225, I think was an absolute steal. Uh, really happy to have it, always collecting Sid, you know, just another PC card. So really happy to have that one. Then we checked out Jeff Wilson and Jeremy Lee talking about content in the hobby and it was a really good panel, so I'll throw that up there. Then I ended up picking up this card here. I traded this along with two, I got $250 for a Jonathan Taves Sparkling Diamonds BGS 9.5. I got that Sparkling Diamonds for about $250. So I pretty much got the cash part back. And then I essentially got this card for free. So pretty happy to have this and not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but great looking card. The next deal I did and something I was looking to do more of, but it, it just turned out to be really difficult is now these aren't super exciting. I'll go through them relatively quickly, but I had an individual, I'll post a picture up there who had a whole pile of young guns. So I sat there with my jeweler's lens and went through all of his young guns and I grabbed whatever was gradable. So these are all going to PSA. So we'll take a look. We got a couple Dowlings. I took a couple of Sean Derzies. We got a couple of Jake Neighbors. Cole Sillinger, got two of those. Got a Alex Turcott. Um, what do we got? Four Dawson Mercers there. We got three Cole Perfettis. And remember, I've gone through all these, so I'm hoping that there can be a relatively high gem rate on them. Ilya Sorokin. Got a Corey Perry. Take a shot on that one. Shane Pinto, got one of those. Quinton Byfield, two of those. Charlie McAvoy, really good M on the McAvoys. Try out another Duncan Keith. Got Duncan Keith, Drew Doughty, that's a pretty cool one. If this tens, I wouldn't mind keeping it for the PC. I'm a pretty big Doughty fan, like the guy, like his smack talking. Uh, Seth Jarvis, Gabe Landiscog, we got a Jesper Bratt. A couple of Sebastian Ajos, Matthew Barzell. Two Jason Robertsons, Eric Carlson a Lucas Raymond and an Alexander Barkov. So spent $1,100 on these cards. Again, all of these specifically going to PSA. That was the end of Friday. Then we headed out to the Bull Pub and Grill and had a bite to eat. Talk the hobby, shout out to these great guys. This is why I love the hobby, man. It's, you know, it's meeting the people. The cards are great, obviously, but it boils down to the relationship. So all these guys, great guys. We'll see you next year. Uh, stoked to just further our relationships and just have a good time back at it saturday walked in and grabbed this guy so steven stamkos i actually bought one of these at a really good price and then flipped it that's if you remember from my video a while back i ended up getting this at the exact same price that i flipped it at so i'm okay with it i, I think still undervalued card you can't go wrong with stammer so got a stamkos future watch auto 9.5 
Next card I grabbed was this guy here, a Connor McDavid. This is um, from Ice. This is a 1920. This is a fire, so there's a red one and a blue one. The blue one is actually shorter printed, which I didn't know before. I traded this for a Leon Dreisaitl PSA 10. I may have lost a little bit of value there. I don't know, but to get out of the Dreisaitl and get into a McDavid auto, I'm perfectly fine with. I'll, I'll take McDavid all day. You get stuck with this card. It's obviously never going to be a bad thing. And then right next to them, I believe that was from 416, an individual dealer. Uh, sorry, I didn't get your name, but I got this Kale McCarr NHL moment. So this is from Clearcut this year. This card doesn't photo as good as it looks in person. So grab this guy for $300 and was very happy with it. Again, another PC card, but stoked to have this one. Then it was a deal with Phil and Cole, with Cole brokering the deal for his dad. Um, so I got these four. He had a whole bunch of Shane Pintos. I think he has 130. He's got all the Pintos if, if you're looking for them. He's looking for a high gloss. So if you have a high gloss, hit me up. I can connect you guys. He wants to buy it. So, but I got these four Pintos just for grading. I paid $90 for these and perfectly fine with that to get some mint Pintos. Then a few other cards that I got along the way. We got a Sidney Crosby Retro Gold. So these guys are numbered out of 149. Um, again, a card that'll go to PSA. Maybe I'll hold it. We'll see. Um, Braden Point Seismic Gold Rookie out of 50. And then a, a color matching Braden Point Blue Cubes. Then we got a Marco Rossi along with a Jack Quinn. So see how these guys do. All of it going to PSA. And the last couple of cards here, I got this one. I traded it for a Troy Terry uh, PSA 9 Future Watch Auto. And I got like 20 bucks cash with this too. Just a PC card. This is numbered out of 149. The I believe this is the retro. Yeah, retro rainbow gold. Miko, but again, PC card, low price. Happy to have it. Then shout out Jeremy Lee. We got a deal done. Here's a picture of me and Jeremy at uh, the Mint Inc. trade night, but we got a deal done before the trade night and I purchased this guy off of him. So this is a Nathan McKinnon Fanimation. Pop one, BGS 9.5, may cross it over to a PSA. I know Ryan would tell me that I should. Do I wanna cross it over? It's just a PC card, but still, might cross it over and try and get a PSA 10. We will see. But those are all of my pickups from the expo, guys. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Let me know how I did. You like what I picked up? Tell me what you picked up from the expo or if you said hi. I met a lot of great people there. And guys, the community is so strong. I appreciate all of you who came and said hi. You know, keep having fun. Keep collecting. Keep flipping. You know, don't listen to other people talking smack about whether you're doing this right or wrong. You do you, man. But have fun, guys. And we'll check you.